In this tutorial, we will learn how to build a simple cellular phone in Maya. First, let's start by setting up our image planes. So, uh, let's go to our four views and then let's maximize the front view. Let's go to view, image plane, then import image. Then let's look for our reference photo. So, this is our front photo. Okay, let's go back to our four views. Uh, let's do the same for the side view. So let's maximize our side view. Then let's click on view again. Image plane. And then import image. Uh, let's import our side reference photo. Then click open. Okay. Now uh, we can see that we've imported our cellular phone images into our Maya scene. Uh, make sure everything is aligned and everything is in the same size. Okay. Next, let's just move our image planes to the left and uh, at the back of our grid so we won't get distracted. So let's go to the front view and then select camera. Okay, here uh, in, your, in our channel box, let's look for our image plane attributes under inputs. Okay. Uh, we will just move the front image at the back of our grid. So to do that, uh, look to your uh, reference axis. So let's just move this to center Z at the negative 20 value. Okay. Next, let's move our side photo. Let's go to view. Select camera. And then again, uh, let's look, take a look at our reference. For the axis so let's just move this at the center x to a negative maybe 12 value okay now that we've set up our image planes we can start modeling our cellular phone okay now let's start building the basic shape of our cell phone so let's go to our side view so i'm gonna start off with a polygon cube so let's go to create Polygon primitives and then cube. Then I will just click on the move tool and then just move this up. Let's also hide our grid so that uh, we can see it a little bit better. So let's zoom in. Next, I will just uh, align the vertices at the black area of our cell phone. So to do that, right click on your cube and then click on vertex. Then select these edges here. Then let's just move this. Okay, let's also align the vertices in our front view. So let's go to our front view. And select these vertices here. Okay, so let's go back to our object mode. Next, let's go back to our side view. Uh, I'm going to make a cut around this area so that we could extrude this downwards. So go to Edit Mesh, Insert Edge Loop Tool, and then let's just cut an edge here. Okay, now uh, let's go back to our object mode. Let's select the face here at the bottom. So to do that, let's go to our perspective view. Okay, right click on our cube and then click on face. So let's select our face. Then let's go back to our side view. So let's extrude this face downwards. So go to edit mesh, click on extrude. Okay, now let's just pull this down. Okay, so we extruded our face. Next, uh, let's round off the edges of our uh, cell phone. So to do that, let's select all of our edges. So let's zoom in and right click. Let's select the edges. So I'm going to click on this edge and then uh, to add selections, I'm going to hold down on shift. 
then let's add that selection and then let's hold on on shift again to add these edges here let's also add the edges at the bottom okay now uh, let's bevel this edges out so let's go to edit mesh and then click on bevel okay now um, we can see that our edges are chiseled out so let's adjust the settings of our bevel so go to your channel box to your right and then look for inputs and then poly bevel let's set the offset to a value of 0.2 and then the segments to a value of 3 okay now we can see that we have rounded the edges of our cell phone next uh, let's go back to our side view here uh, let's also round the edges at the back but to do that uh, we will just cut uh, edges around our object and then just move the vertices down so let's make an insert edge loop tool command again so let's just cut here and then around this area then after that let's select its vertices and then just move them down okay so let's take a look at our work in progress so okay we're done uh, let's now now let's do the battery of our cell phone so let's create another polygon cube let's go to our side view so let's go to create polygon primitives and then cube this is our cube here let's uh, align the vertices to our reference photo at the side Then let's just align these vertices down. Let's just adjust these vertices also down. Okay. Then let's also uh, adjust these vertices at the front view. So let's go to our front view. All right, so let's click on vertex. Then let's just move them to the side. Okay, next, uh, let's round out the corners of our battery. So let's select these edges here. And let's go to the other side. I'm going to hold down on shift to add selection. Okay. Once we have these two edges selected, let's go to edit mesh. And then bevel. Okay, so uh, let's adjust the settings for this bevel as well. So in the offset, set it a value of 0.2. And then segment, set it to 3 to match our previous uh, settings for a cell phone. And lastly, uh, let's go to our side view. As you can see, um, the bottom part of our battery is also curved so let's make three cuts as well so right click let's select on the vertex select these vertices here move them up
Okay, now we've done creating the basic shape of the cell phone. Next is we will start creating the screens of our cell phone using booleans. Okay, so now let's create the screens of our cell phone. So we will need two shapes to do a boolean command. So one shape will be subtracting the other to form a sort of uh, carved shape inside our original. So let's create a polygon cube. Okay, let's just bring this out. So let's go to our front view and then let's just match our polygon cube according to our screen area. So let's just match it to the maybe just to this edges here or maybe just the black area. Okay. Next, uh, let's go to our perspective. Uh, let's just round out uh, these edges here. So I'm going to select the edges. And then let's apply a bevel command. And then let's adjust the settings to 0.2 for offset and then segments to 3. Okay. Now let's do the same for the keypads. Let's create another polygon cube. So let's create another cube. And then let's also uh, align the vertices according to our reference photo. Okay. Then let's just move this up as well. Let's also round out the edges. So let's select uh, all of the corners. Again, I'm holding down on shift to add selections. Okay, let's go to edit mesh and then click on bevel. Then let's set the settings of offset to 0.2 and then set the segments to 3. Okay. Now that we have the shapes that we want to carve into our cell phone, uh, let's just move this battery back so that we can see a little bit better. First, let's do a boolean for the top screen. So what I would do is I would uh, push this back and then intersect, intersect it with our original shape. Then uh, also make sure that you don't go, pa go pass through this area here. Okay, so once this is intersected, uh, select your original and then select your shape that will do the boolean command. Then go to mesh, and then booleans, and then click on reference. Now you can see that our previous shape is now carved into our original object. Let's do the same for the keypads. Let's just push this uh, back to intersect our object. Let's make sure that it doesn't go past through it. All right, so now let's select our original and then our Boolean object or our Boolean shape. Go to Mesh, Booleans, and then Difference. Okay, let's put our battery back to its original position. Now you can see that we've made the basic shape of our cell phone. Uh, let's just add the keypads next. So to add the keypads, let's go to our front view. And then let's create a polygon cube. Alright, so this is our cube. 
let's match uh, our cube to our keypads using the vertex. So let's just select these vertices here, then match it according to our reference image. Okay, now uh, let's just Let's go to our perspective and then move this up. Okay, uh, let's just duplicate this cube as well. Okay, let's just duplicate this cube to create uh, our other keypad. So go to edit, duplicate, and then I'm gonna press Ctrl D on my keyboard to duplicate uh, the next cube. And then this one here. I'm also going to duplicate this to the side. So I'm going to press Ctrl D in my keyboard and then move this to the side. Okay. So next, I will just bevel out all of the edges. So to do that, uh, let's go to Edit Mesh and then Click on Vivo. Uh, let's adjust the settings to maybe an offset of 0.3 or 0.1. Okay, so let's do the same for the others. So go to Edit Mesh, click on Vivo. All right, so Let's adjust, while everything is selected, let's adjust the inputs. Make the offset uh, a value of 0.1. Okay. Now let's do the corners of our keypads. So to do the corners, let's create another polygon cube. So go to create, polygon primitives, and then cube. Uh, Let's move this down and then to the right side. Let's select its vertices and then match it to our reference photo. All right. For this corner keypad, we will just do one and then duplicate it uh, for the other corners. Okay, so let's just also move this up together with our keypads. And to round this corner up, let's select its edge. Then let's go to Bevo, Edit Mesh, and then Bevo. Okay, so in our inputs, let's set the offset to maybe 0.2. And then to a segment, Set the segments to a value of 3. Okay. Next, um, I will just delete this edge right here. So I'm going to go to Edges, right click, and select this edge here. And then I will just delete it using the Delete key or Edit Delete. Um, let's also delete the edges at the back. So go to edit and then delete. Okay, now uh, let's also bevel out all of the edges uh, at the front and back. So let's go to edit mesh and then click on bevel. Okay, now uh, you can see that it aligns with our other keypads. Let's just move this up. So to duplicate this, uh, we'll just adjust the vertices down, okay? To duplicate this, let's first uh, zero out all of our attributes. So let's go to Modify, Face Transformation. And then let's duplicate this to the side. I'm going to press Ctrl D on my keyboard or Apple D if you're on a Mac. And then I'm just going to move this to the side and then Let's scale this 
uh, on the opposite way. So you, as you can see in your channel box, it scales in the x-axis. Let's type in a value of negative 1 so that uh, it will be the same proportion as the corner to your right. Okay. So let's zero this out as well. Go to modify, freeze transformation, so that zeroes out all of the values. Let's duplicate this and move this down. Okay. Now let's scale this uh, on the opposite way, at the y-axis. Let's type in a value of negative 1. Okay. So, let's just adjust these vertices, okay, let's adjust these vertices as well. Last, let's also duplicate this one. So, press Apple V or Control D on your keyboard. And then let's move this down. Then let's also scale this down or on the opposite of Y. So let's type in a value of negative 1. And then let's just move this up. Okay. So now we could put the keypads uh, with our cell phone right here. The okay, last uh, button we will going to do is the side button for the volume right here. So let's create the polygon cube. Let's just scale this up. And then move this uh, to align our image. Let's go to our perspective and then move this to the side. And then let's do a bevel command to uh, round the corners. Let's go to edit mesh, bevel. All right. So this concludes our tutorial for building a simple cellular cell phone.